Hey everybody, welcome to Life Outdoors. What we got going today is uh, we got a utility winch here and we want to hook it up wirelessly. So what we did is we bought this uh, little module off Amazon. It was only like $20. Comes with this thing here and comes with two remotes. Uh, one little nice keychain one. We'll slide back. You got the up and down there. And then one bigger one that looks like it can clip onto your belt or whatever you want to do with it. And in order to, to make this work, uh, we had to buy a reversing solenoid. And then we got to wire it to a battery. So currently got a project going on our other channel called Build It Better. Currently building a, the most awesome sandbox ever. And this board here is going to be our uh, beam going across the top, holding up a roof. I'm going to use this winch here to raise up and down the roof to it. And I want to do it wirelessly. So that's why I got this project going on today. And I thought uh, while I'm doing it, I'll make a more detailed video for you guys so you can see exactly how it's wired up. Uh, now, as far as the winch, I'm using the Champion 2000 pound utility winch. Uh, from what I understand, this works with any winch that has these uh, two terminals right here and uh, goes up and down by reversing polarity. So that's what this solenoid here is going to do. It's just going to be able to reverse the polarity to the winch to make it go up and down. And then we need our little wireless receiver box so the remotes can work with it. So here's what it comes with. It comes with this big contraption here. So you just got the up down switches. So this goes down, this goes up just by pressing it in. And really the problem with this thing is, is all the voltage amps were run through this whole cable up through the switch, then back down to the winch. So you got four wires, two of them go to the winch, two of them go to the battery. And then all this thing does is reverse the polarity. The same thing that this little solenoid here is going to do. So we don't really need this in the setup I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is just cut these wires off and recycle them and use them for our wiring in our new system. So we'll do that now. Maybe I'll save a little tail on this in case I ever want to use this switch for anything else. Got plenty of wires there. So just snip these off. All right, I'm just going to take the two labeled that go to the winch already. There you label minus plus to winch motor. So make it easy. In this winch here, it does say plus or minus on here. I don't know if it matters a whole lot, but we're going to go ahead and just put them on the way it says. All right, so we got positive and negative hooked on to the winch. All right, now we got the loose ends here. We're going to put them onto our reversing solenoid. So we got four big posts and two smaller spade posts. The way it's set up is the winch will go to these two outer posts. The battery cables will go to these two center ones. And then our little controller here goes to these little spade. Notice these posts here, they're kind of loose when you loosen the nut up on them. They tighten up once you get that nut nice and tight on there. All right, now I'll take the longer two ones and we'll hook those to the batteries. As you can see, they did come with these, these rings on the end, but they don't fit over the post to the uh, solenoid or to the battery up here. So I'm going to replace them with uh, these new ones I got. And this one says to the battery, so I'll just keep that end up there just since it's already labeled. Just cut these pieces off. Clean it up. All right, now same thing with the positive one. Okay, now we got these two posts. These are labeled battery negative, battery positive. Go ahead and hook up this positive one first. Get the remotes out of the way. Try to do this be a little easier. All 
All right, only one left. That's the old positive side, or the negative side now. All right, and actually before I tighten this one down, we need to hook in our little wireless receiver box. So what we got here is five wires. Uh, the yellow and white are for up and down. I don't remember which one's which, but we'll put them on there and if it doesn't work right, we'll switch them. Then you got a red and black. Those go on the positive and negative coming from the battery. And then this blue one here is just an antenna, so we don't really put that to anything. So before you go in here, I'm going to put the black on. And the little rings that came on this the positive one fit over the stud here, but the, the negative one was too small. So I just cut out a little chunk of it to make it fit on the stud there. And then the other two, I changed them to these little... Uh, spade push on connector so they'll fit on the ones that are on here. So hooking up this uh, negative side, put our black wire on there along with our negative from the battery. Now I'll have to take off this positive one to get the other wire on there. All right, I'm not really sure what happened there. It had some sparks flying off that. I don't know if it was the order I hooked it up or, uh, I don't know, but both of these wires here got really hot, so we had to short it out somewhere. All I did is uh, unhook it from the battery, make all the connections, and now it works just fine. So, to show you what I got, we got the cables coming off the battery. They go down to these two center posts. This one here and this one here, along with the red and white, or I mean the red and black off the wireless controller. And then the other two posts here and here just go to the winch. And see it in operation. You can either use either controller seems to work. Oh and in. I'm going to use this one. This is actually a nice little kind of heavy-duty controller. We'll slide up switch there. Same thing here, in and out. So in, out. Works just fine. All right, so there we have it. A very simple setup. All you really need to do is buy this reversing solenoid and this real cheap wireless kit off Amazon. This was $20 and this was uh, it's $20 or $30 anyway, so probably less than $50 you can have the whole thing set up wireless. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some good information off it. Um, this is my first time doing this and it seemed to work, so it seemed pretty simple. Uh, I don't know why we got some sparks going there, but it didn't seem to affect anything. Uh, if you got any suggestions or any comments about how I could have done this better, or if you got a different way of doing this, yeah, just leave it in the comments below and uh, let me know. Again, thanks for watching.